Hey guys, it's been a while, I know, since we've uh, shared anything with you guys. And it's been um, a while because <laughs> we've just been in transition. You know, we sold our house, which is very exciting, and we're still absolutely thrilled about um, that, about being uh, free from having a mortgage, but also about who bought our house. We're just tickled and um, so happy about that. So with that, we moved into an Airbnb and we absolutely love where we are. We are staying here on a piece of property owned by some friends of ours. They're just an absolute dream. Uh, we're just loving being here with them and just being in this place. We have been working on the bus and we have some things to share with you guys about it. Um, one thing is, I know you've already seen our ceiling, but looky there, we have fans. And we have some lights. And then if you go forward, we actually finished up the front part of the ceiling as well. So that's really exciting. We started working on my seat area. You can see there is this raised box here that's actually over top of the wheel well. And Jerry has started a little bit of a wall here. We'll show you what that's for later. But these bolts that are sticking up, these studs coming up out of there, they're bolted into the frame of the bus. And that's to hold my seat. That's where my seat is going to sit. And then we've framed it out or finished it out with some beadboard here. That'll be looking even nicer. So we did the walls here. Jerry's wired for an outlet. Um, we've got some other wiring going on here. But... What I really wanted to do today was to work on the flooring. We get the flooring done, then we can actually put my seat in place, and then that part will be sort of finished. I have been thinking I wanted to take a little bit more responsibility for some of the building process. I do a little bit when I'm here with him, and he just guides me through. But I've been trying to get my courage up to do some of it all by myself. And so we sat and talked about it before he left today. Um, as he's traveling for work, if I might do the flooring on this box. And I'm glad I talked about it with him because he gave me a couple of details about it, things that I need to think about, like the fact that these, these pieces, these bolts are sticking up through, um, this is the click together flooring. It would be really hard to click it together and get it to go down over those bolts if in fact I even got the holes drilled in the right place. And so his suggestion was that I probably want to actually click the whole bit together separately, not on here, and measure and get the bolts in the right place and then sort of slip that whole piece on top of this as, as one whole piece. And I'm so glad he suggested that because I'm not sure I would have thought of it. So I came out and I started looking at it, thinking about the measuring process. I actually took a piece of paper, a long piece of paper off of a roll, laid it down on here, and I've traced out the edges so I can cut it to make an exact pattern, especially in this tricky piece up here where there's kind of an angle and a little little tiny corner that needs to be cut and then the holes where the bolts are exactly so I'm gonna try it by myself y'all we'll see how it goes here's my template that I created Once I finished making all my cuts, I brought the pieces back in and laid them out across from the area where I was working and just started snapping them into place to make sure that they matched what I had originally. Once I had them all snapped into place, then I needed to measure and mark the holes that I was going to be cutting so they would fit those studs exactly. Jerry advised me to use four slur bits 
And after I'd marked my holes, I was super excited that I was actually able to get the drill bit into the drill. That was the first time for me. And then it was time to start drilling those holes. There's no room for error here. I didn't want to ruin those pieces, but I think they turned out okay. Last one. Alright guys, I'm pretty proud of myself right now and I don't even know 100% that I've gotten this exactly right, but I tried and I did a lot of it and I've done it by myself with just um, encouragement and some advice from my husband. He's not even here and so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I'm going to show you what I've done so far and I haven't put it together, but I just laid the first piece down so I could see if it was going to fit. Um, across the studs of you know these little bolts and it does and it fits in the corner as well so I'm gonna take this back up and I'm gonna lay it out over here on some plywood I have and click it all in place and I'm gonna see if I can transfer it over in one piece so this should be interesting let's see how it goes so I started clicking it back into place and of course I already knew it was going to fit together that wasn't a big deal but I was just getting it all put together in one piece on the other side and once I did get it all in one piece and all together I took a separate piece of plywood and slipped it up underneath of it so that I could move it without the pieces coming apart because they do click into place but they come apart pretty easily so I got it across to the box without it falling apart which I thought was an accomplishment but it turned out that removing that piece of plywood and keeping it all in one piece, it just didn't work. So at least I got it over there and sort of in place and that was okay. I slipped that piece of plywood out from underneath of it and all of the pieces sort of lost their click. <laughs> they came apart on me again, but it was all right. I found that I was still able to slip them down over those studs and I had enough play in the holes that I drilled that I was still able to click the pieces together and they clicked together nicely it all fit it came together really just like I wanted it to and I was super pleased with the way that it looked Yep, I did it all by myself. I put the flooring on the box that's going to be under my seat in the bus. It really wasn't that hard. It was just hard in my mind. But I'm so excited that I tried it and I did it. So here's what it looks like with my seat on it. We'll be getting some more trim in place. And here's what it looks like when it swivels.